All right, guys. Just, you know, pack here and there is just not enough sometimes. So, <clears throat> I'm going to play with some real cards, too. Arena, everything's, you know, it's great. I'm glad we got outlets, but Matt and I are sitting on a couple of these, and we thought, hey, why don't we actually just Skype each other and actually play against, you know, each other with real real magic cards. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and open this up. Matt's going to be opening one up as well. And we're going to see what we get and uh, keep it up, keep it open on camera. And then that way Matt and I can uh, build decks with just these cards and play against each other. And uh, yeah, see what happens. Now, I always look at my promo at the end. So there's our six packs. We got a blue die. Not that it matters. So promo. Let's look at that out actually right now. Oh, oh I just saw it. <laughs> right, because there's two of them. So we have a commence the end game here. And we also have uh Hawatli. So creatures assign damage versus toughness. Gain life to the the gracious toughness creature control. That actually might not be terrible. Might not be horrible. Okay. So let's see. So, uh, yeah, the, uh, the 2011 pack was spicy, had, uh, cracked the 2011 core set, um, Platinum Angel with a little Scribe Ranger in it, nothing, nothing amazing. I don't know, you guys, anybody sitting at, at home just had, happened to have some, some magic product left over, able to actually, you know, crack some packs. All right, so... Makeshift Battalion, Transmutation, Sprint, <sighs> Ghost Form, New Horizons, Enforcer Griffin, Lazatep, Demolish, Holy White, oh hey, look at that. Evolution Sage, pretty good, pretty good card. Uh, Rally of Wings, Kazmina, all right. I haven't played with this set in so long. And a Feather Redeemed. <laughs> okay, that's uh, that's a that's a pretty good rare. <laughs> okay, oh, that's a pretty good rare for for pack one. Where'd you get Matt? What have you done, Derek? Okay, Sergeant. We got a thick stack of white over here too. Let's get this commence the end game out of there. And these tokens and whatnot. Okay. Ah, uh, cure a dam breaker. Cyclops. Spinner. Toll of the invasion. Enforcer Griffin. Jaya's greeting's pretty good. Unlikely aid. Even elemental. Sarkon. Oh, Sun Blade Angel again. Like an, well, another, you know, first strike, <laughs> flying vigilance and lifelink. Yeah. Taskmaster. And Grath. Is our, uh, our second walker. <laughs> Roll esque. <laughs> Apex hybrid. Okay. <coughs> wow. They're all over the place. White looks strong, but it's, uh, it's just one color. So get into pack three of the six. Ah, get off me. Okay, pouncing links. Sky theater Strix. Goblin assailant. Another makeshift battalion. Just middle operative. Running out of room, there's only so much room. Forced landing, Soren's thirst, cross stinger, divine arrow, that'll do. Uh, wall of runes, meh. Dread Malkin is actually kind of sweet. Horrible ordering garbage. Nahiri, storms, well, hmm. 
What do you think, guys? Might be maybe pushing a little uh, a little more do action here. Nurse sets reversal. Our rares, I mean, haven't been, I don't know, really exciting, but, uh, you know, so far not terrible. Got a, I here he's decent. Nice piece of recurrable removal, especially if you can get her back, I guess. And in black, we can play, uh, you know, some of those, uh, those reanimation spells. You left the card behind. Okay. Battlefield promotion. Strix Lime Blast. New Horizons. Toll the Evasion. Guild Globe. First artifact. Is it a mana rock? Enters the uh, draw card. Sacrifice it. Nah, whatever. Shannon's Helix. Davriel Shadow Fuge. Wanderer Strike. Good card. Very limited. Reckless Advance. Death Spirit's also a pretty good limited card. Elite Card Mage. That's a pretty good card. Plus a Davriel that fits in our Mardu. Maybe. And a finale of eternity, huh? No foils, but uh, all right. I think, yeah, I think we're maybe, yeah, I don't know. Maybe sort of a, a red splash. And uh, yeah, maybe a red splash. And then go with uh, more of a Orzhov making up the majority of the deck, possibly. A lot of good white cards. All right, Gideon Sacrifice. Now I got Eternal. Raging Crunch. Oh man, the Crunch is raging. <laughs> Return to Nature. Charity Extractor. Arboreal Grazer. Or Arboreal. Arboreal Grazer. Uh, Thundering Sarasak. Spellgorger Weird. Hey, Pollen Bright Druid. We got some ramp, some fixing if we wanted to go green. Dovin's Veto. Oh, Mao is really good too. Soren and a war creature. All right. Well, we are down to one pack to go. Oh, today's been great. So many packs today. Opened up like an Allegiant pack for the Pack Wars, and then also did a, a 2011 pack opening for fun. All right. Oop. Bump the camera. All right. Eternal. Assailant, Luxodon, Kazmina, Forced Landing, Opportunist, Topple the Statue, Giant Growth, Spellgorger Weird, Epiphany, Cyclops, Price of Betrayal, and an Ashiok, and a Command the Dread Horde. Holy Moses. All right. Well, I like black. I like the white. Not too sure about the red, but uh, yeah, we, we got some serious stuff going on here. So uh, I'm going to do some deck building or whatever, and we'll probably have a little entry uh, video of the finished, the finished uh, product, if you will. All right, guys, take care. Talk to you soon. One year ago, the hype was strong with this one. Today, of course... One year later, it is all about Ikoria, Ikoria this, Ikoria that, Ikoria commander. But one year ago, we had War of the Spark, and we're cracking a pre-release pack. Welcome back to Hotfire MTG, everybody. This is Tage. We're cracking, we're actually cracking two War of the Spark pre-release packs. Beach is cracking one, and I am packing, cracking one. And uh, we will look at that, we will look at the, oh, Oh, I already saw. All right, screw it. There is the promo. We got a Sahili, and on the other side, Spark Double. It's actually not bad. That's not terrible. Could be worse. Sahili and a Spark Double is the promo. So like I was trying to say, uh, Beach is cracking a pre-release pack. I am cracking a pre-release pack. And then uh, we're going to try and do a like social distancing paper magic game game so we're both going to build decks out of these and we're going to see if we can use cameras to remotely play against each other basically that's the plan no idea if it's going to work but we're going to give it a go so let's see what we got in these packs 
In the uncommon slot, we've got a Nahiri, not one of the best planeswalkers that we're looking for in the uncommon slot. Vivian's Arcbow, also a swing and a miss as far as rares go. That's pack number one. All right, Let's see if we can do better in pack number two. Like I said, Ikoria is all the rage this week. Spoiler season just started this week, but we are going back to War of the Spark. So what do we got in the uncommon slot? Bond of Passion, Eternal Taskmaster, Wanderer, also a swing and a miss. Widespread Brutality, also not a hit, I don't think. And we got a foil, Bond of Discipline. Eh, kinda. Okay, two swings. Two big misses. We're sitting at two strikes. We don't want three strikes. We do not want three strikes. Oh, what do we got next? Cyclops Electromancer, Angrath's Rampage, and Angrath himself. Okay. And Dreadhorde Invasion? I don't think that's a very good hit either. All right. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. This is, uh, this is going swell. This is going swell. <laughs> I think we have... I think the best value so far is that Spark Double in the, uh, in the promo slot. But we'll see if we can improve upon it. Let's go to the uncommons. Chandra's Triumph, Rally of Wings, Gleaming... Man, no, not even any decent uncommon Planeswalkers yet. And we got the rare Chandra. Also kind of a swing and a miss. She's worth, well, I think, two, three bucks Canadian. That's about it. No, oh, hold on. I am screwing up my piles here. Uh, yeah, kind of disappointing there. Two packs left. That's it. Man, it'd be really nice if we could find a Mythic or even a Nyssa in the rare slot as far as Planeswalkers go. Decent value there. I'd be happy with a flipping Narset at this point. Augur Bolas, Rescuer Sphinx, Davriel, another swing and a miss in the uncommon slot. Commence the end game. I think might be worth a couple bucks. Not a big hit. And a Foil Island. Well, Foil Island's not horrible i suppose but uh again we're swinging and we are missing one pack left holy smokes can we do a little better can we do a little better please oh boy what do we got what do we got come on give me an r set neoform devouring helion another nahiri terrible and a spark double well speaking of doubles um we have double spark doubles Double the spark double. Well, okay, kind of disappointing. Kind of disappointing as far as value goes, but we will see. And really, only one? Do we only No, we got a foil island. So that's it as far as foils go. We had just the, uh, the bond of discipline and a foil island, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, well, we'll see what we can make as far as the sealed deck goes. And uh, we will bring you some gameplay in the next couple days. Beach and I gonna have at her a little tilt a little tilt while we're isolating from each other hot fire mtg hit like hit subscribe appreciate it guys later